Without a doubt, the most engaging and consequential question Jesus asked was with respect to his identity. The question he posed to his disciples hinged on who he was. Who do people say that I am? Some say you're John the Baptist. Some say you're Elijah. Others say you're Jeremiah. Others say you're one of the prophets. But who do you say that I am? Peter, one of Christ's closest disciples, affirmed adamantly that indeed Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, for flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father in heaven revealed this to you. The same question is asked today. Some believe Jesus was a good moral teacher, others believe he was just a prophet, and yet some hold to the belief of who he was and who he said he was, the Son of God. Could this crucified Messiah who was held in contempt by so many people indeed be the savior of the world? Our eternal destiny rests on the personhood of Christ. If he is a mere man who did not die on the cross for our sins, then Christianity is dead and there is no hope. If he is the Messiah, then we should believe him when he says he will return to judge the world and that his name every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. Well, I ask you the same question Jesus asked his disciples. Who do you say Jesus is?